Taoiseach, you're here today. Are you going to have a flutter this afternoon? I am. I've already got five tips since I came in the gate. Yeah. Now, I don't know, does my, uh, does my uh, remit uh, rise to the five of them? But anyway, I'm going to put, put a few quid on some horse. You're just back from the US too. How did that go for you? Went very well. I, actually, I have to say that they were, they were uh, waiting expectantly to hear the message that this country is open for business. Uh, American business is particularly interested in the fact that the government will not be shifting off our 12.5% corporation tax rate. And I have to say that of the many, of the several thousand that I met in, in Washington at the bigger functions, uh, they really are interested in building on the links between Ireland and the US. From bankers in Wall Street to big business interested in doing business in Ireland, we want to send out that message. A different government, different set of priorities, we're not changing off the fundamentals. We've got a brilliant workforce here and we, we want to get back to where we were, being right up there at the top. And the President himself, he's really looking forward to checking out his Irish roots. Yes, I was, I was thrilled when, uh, when I had the privilege of being in the White House on St. Patrick's Day and he confirmed that he was coming here to check out at least where some of his ancestors came from. And I'm delighted that he's coming with his First Lady Michelle and I hope and I know that the people of Ireland will give them an absolutely wonderful welcome when they do come here. Very important opportunity for Ireland to be able to present itself on a, on a global scale uh, with his visit following closely on that of the Queen a couple of days beforehand. Now, well, you're in America, got news to Dr. Gareth Fitzgerald. What's the news in the former Taoiseach? Um, well, I understand from uh, talking to some people today that uh, Dr. Fitzgerald is, is stable and I hope that he continues to improve now. He's been a, a brilliant political institution for so many years and as I said, I said a little prayer from the other evening, I hope that, uh, that his medical condition will improve now and that he'll, he'll be around for a long time yet. The racing industry has been very important to the Irish economy down the years and I'm sure you have plans for it. I have and obviously we're, uh, we're concerned as a, as a cabinet about this. Racing and the horse business is so fundamental to Ireland, its reputation, it's part of ourselves and we want to see that continue. Obviously in a general sense we face a number of challenges up ahead. But this government is focused on dealing with the fundamental priorities here. Sort out our banks, put our people back to work and repair our public finances back to good health and our country is going to be in great shape for times ahead. So I look to the far shore and I see the sunlight over there and I know that uh, while we have challenges up ahead we're going to get through those because we're a very practical, pragmatic people uh, and for my part we're going to work this government very hard, we're going to make decisions that, that are in the interest of our people and our country and get on with it. Thank you Taoiseach and maybe Mayo will possibly win the Connacht Championship and go a step further this year. I, I said this already, you know, this might be a little vanity but if they don't win in the next couple of years I'm going to legislate that they win. <laughs> Thank you, Taoiseach. Kildare now as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I know we We have supplied a number of players to Kildare in the past. It's a long-term long policy of internal colonisation. But anyway, may the best horse win, as they say. Taoiseach, thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you. Thanks a lot.